so let's talk about functions and also something called lambda functions which is a special type of functions let's start with functions so we'll take the previous example itself where we actually um, start with a lower bound um, and iterate till the upper bound and add those numbers so instead of writing a block of code using while loop um, let's see how we can actually define a function so uh, the syntax of function starts with def and the function name as we have uh, seen uh, with variables even the arguments or parameters are not uh, uh, typed in python you don't need to specify data type you just give the names of variables and based upon uh, uh, the values you you are using to invoke it will inherit the data type okay so let's say uh, this sum will actually take two arguments lb and ub lb stands for lower bound and ub stands for upper bound like in if, if condition while loop for loop etc uh, we have to use colon to end and hit enter and if you want to write multiple lines of code uh, within the scope of this function again indentation is very important i am using two spaces uh, for the indentation and it has to be uniform uh, all the lines which comes under this function have to be indented with two lines unless you have you develop if condition or uh, while loop or for loop where you have to nest the scope you just indent with two spaces that being said in this case i want to start with the lower bound and uh, uh, increment till upper bound by one and uh, add it to the result for that purpose i am declaring a variable res or let's name it as total equal to zero okay so i'm initializing it to zero now i have to iterate from lower bound to upper bound so i have to use while condition here while lower bound less than or equal to upper bound i want to iterate till the upper bound including the last value and again um, uh, column is to end this specification of the while and here uh, while while have the nested scope to the def so i have to indent further so now i am using four spaces uh, here under while and uh, um, i i am adding the lower bound value to the total so either i can say total equal to total plus lb or total plus equal to lb both are same and then i have to increment lower bound by one okay if i don't increment lower bound by one it will get into the infinite loop and it will never come out of the while loop okay and then hit enter and finally i want to return total and this return total is within the scope of def not in the scope of while that's why i indented only twice here and then hit enter twice to come out of this uh, block of code uh, which defined the function by name sum now if i say sum of 1 comma 10 you can see it gave us the uh, val uh, right value which is 55 and sum of 1 to 100 is 5050 okay so this is how you can actually define the functions um, very straightforward and no need to worry about the data types as long as you are passing the uh, uh, correct values to the function it will inherit the data type by itself now uh, if i want to expand uh, or provide additional functionality to add either um, numbers from 1 to 100 or numbers uh, squares of numbers from 1 to 100 or cubes of numbers of 1, one to 100 or multiples of uh, multiple by 2 um, of all the numbers from 1 to 100 so in uh, let's say there are four four such functionalities required one is sum of all the integers between lower bound and upper bound second one is sum of all squares between lower bound and upper bound third one is sum of all cubes between lower bound and upper bound and fourth one is sum of multiples of twos between lower bound and upper bound one way to deal with is 
write four different functions and uh, uh, and use it for example instead of saying uh, def uh, instead of uh, now i can create an additional function to get sum of squares such as def sum of squares and then lower bound upper bound and then uh, everything uh, else will remain same except here instead of saying total plus equal to lb i will say total plus equal to lb multiplied by lb just to get the square of lower bound uh, of each element between the range so if i have four such functions like sum of squares sum of cubes sum of multiples of twos between lower bound and upper bound i have to write four different functions um, and it can um, become a bit uh, clumsy over a period of time Python and most of the modern programming languages try to encapsulate this uh, complexity by using a notion called the lambda functions and also passing functions as arguments to other functions. So in this case, we will see both uh, functions which actually uh, take other fun another function as argument and also we will use lambda functions while uh, uh, passing the value for the function okay it is a bit tedious um, and a, a bit complex but very very important you need to understand this if you want to excel with respect to spark so focus here and try to uh, nail it down before you get into the spark very very important stuff okay so instead of uh, so in, if I just want to create one function for all the four requirements, which is sum of squares, sum of cubes, sum of all the numbers, and sum of multiples of two, I need to take three parameters. One is, let's name it as func, because I want to pass function uh, as value for this argument, and then lower bound and upper bound. Okay, so in this case, function, when we actually invoke sum, uh, in place of function, we will actually pass function as argument, okay? And then I am saying total equal to zero, while lb less than or equal to ub total plus equal to. If you focus here, instead of just adding lb, I am saying func of lb, okay? So func. So here I am actually invoking uh, this function uh, with value lb so every time we increment uh, we iterate through we will be invoking this function okay and then we have to increment lb by one and then return total so the major difference is here instead of just adding lb to total i am adding func of lb to total and uh, what is this func? We have to provide the functionality while invoking this sum. Okay. So in this case, let's say uh, I create a function called id. Okay. Which takes one uh, one parameter as argument. Uh, let's name it as i. The argument name is i. And it returns i. And also I want to create square as another function and it return i multiplied by i and then cube return i multiplied by i multiplied by i. Okay. So now these are all uh, different functions id, square and cube which are defined after defining function uh, by name sum. So now for func, either I can pass id as argument, or square as argument, or cube as argument. And uh, uh, when, we, when we invoke this sum, whenever it iterates, it actually invoke whatever function we pass uh, in place of func. Let's see it in action so that you will understand. So if I say sum of id, comma, lb, uh, 1, comma, 10, and hit enter, you can see 55, because id returns just whatever is passed to that, 
and where this id is invoked when we invoke the function sum when it iterate through in while loop uh, wherever this funky is uh, uh, invoked in that place this id will be invoked now if i want to say sum of square we got the sum of squares between 1 to 10 similarly sum of cube we got the cube of 1 to 10 now if i want to add uh, multiples of twos between 1 to 10 uh, one way is again you can actually create uh, def of multiples of uh, def multiples of twos or five and then you can say return i into two and you can use that function name as part of sum or you can use something called a special function called lambda function lambda function means a function without any name okay so the way it will work is say sum here and then lambda so our func if you go through this it takes one argument okay as part of the invocation this func is taking one argument as part of this sum as it takes one argument we have to give the argument name here lambda argument name let's say argument name is i okay and then call me the syntax so here we we are defining a lambda function which takes one argument i and what i want to return i just want to return i multiplied by 2 because i want to add sum of multiples of 2s and then 1 comma 10 so here we are actually providing functionality directly without creating a function with name like this okay so either you can uh, pass functions with name like this or you can pass functions without name by using lambda notation so lambda functions have certain limitations in python like you cannot assign uh, 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 values to another variables yeah it, it is primarily used for uh, simple functions if you want to write complex logic lambda functions will not work you have to define functions like this and you have to invoke that um, uh, while uh, invoking the main function but for simple functions you uh, like multiples of twos in this case you can directly use lambda if you have a bit more complex logic um, you you should not use lambda lambda have limitations in python now if i say lambda uh, sum of lambda function and then one comma ten you can see uh, multiples of uh, sum of multiples of twos between one one comma ten if you want to get multiples of threes sorry now we got the multiples of trees threes similarly you can also get mul uh, sum of squares by just saying i multiplied by i and you can see we got sum of squares directly so this is how you can use lambda functions lambda functions are functions without any name okay so this uh, this wraps up the functions passing functions uh, to and the functions as arguments and also passing lambda functions uh, as argument uh, to the functions in this case sum is the main function id square cube and lambda functions are used uh, to pass um, as argument to uh, 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 to one of the arguments in sum uh, which takes function as argument um, depending upon the functionality defined and then we we see the results in action